let us now go through one more new concept, rather important concept, namely numerically greatest terms. Numerically greatest terms. Numerically greatest terms. What do you mean by numerically greatest term? Let us have a look over the expansion. Numerical, what is the meaning of the word numerically greatest term? I look here, 2 plus root 3 whole to the power of 20. What is the numerically greatest term? How many terms will be there? 21 terms will be there. The very first term is 2 power 20 and the next term is 20 c 1 into 2 power 19 into root 3, 2 power 19 into 1.732, isn't it? Like that, the terms will be increasing and decreasing like that, they, they will be happening. Out of all those 21 terms, what is the largest numerically that we have to go, that we have to get in this process? There has been a very good process by comparing the r plus 1th term and r the term and a, a very good procedure has been designed. That procedure is, look at this, first of all, let us have that in the form of a formula or a pre-designed procedure and to understand that, let us have the most general expansion. What is that general expansion? to find the NGT in 1 plus x whole to the power of n or even 1 minus x whole to the power of n. Huh? Okay, right. that is the standard expansion. Very first step to be adapted is, you first of all find n plus 1 into mod x by mod x plus 1. That is essential. You name it some p, some p. Good. Here, two cases will arise. Case 1, p itself is an integer. In this case, there will be two numerically greatest terms, namely T P and T P plus 1 are the two numerically greatest terms. Of course, they will be equal if you can find them. Actually, as we are interested to consider the numeral value only, we write mod T P and mod T P plus 1 are the two numerically greatest terms. Suppose in the other case, P is not an integer, P is not an integer. What happens in this case? This is case 2 of course. If P is not an integer, then automatically uh, integral part of P is an integer. And in this case, there is only one numerically greatest term, namely this. T integral part of P plus 1 is the only NGT, is the only NGT. What do you mean by NGT? Numerically greatest term. So, first of all, in order to have the numerically greatest term, which term is the numerically greatest term, you must be able to find the value of p. What is p? n plus 1 into mod x by mod x plus 1. Of course, the proof of this particular number is also very simple, but to save some time only, we are just noting it. p is equal to n plus 1 into mod x by mod x plus 1 